Hi, I'm Lucy Rundle, Primary Trust Curriculum Lead. This video is part of our mini series about using cognitive psychology strategies within the classroom, focusing on reducing cognitive load. Today, we will be showing how staff design and plan booklets and activities to reduce cognitive load, which in turn supports learners to focus on thinking hard and learning new content. This is a great quote from the book, Dual Coding with Teachers. At Dixon's, we say we do the simple things well and designing curriculum materials to best support learners is one of them. We start with a simple template for booklets, which prompts and reminds staff about the font type and size. The template also includes symbols and icons we use to communicate meaning about commonly used tasks within the lesson, which reduces the need for teacher talk. We will look at some examples of these later on in this video. When designing curriculum materials, we use Oli Caviglioli's prompts to improve our booklets so that they are not only consistent, but also convey information to the best possible effect without overloading working memory. This is done through chunking, cutting unnecessary things, and using alignment and formatting to best effect. In the booklets, information is chunked into meaningful groups. We use titles that are underlined and centered, which supports the reader to locate the subtitles of the text. We also use space within the booklet well, so that chunked text doesn't flow into the next page. It's okay to have what Oli Caviglioli calls breathing space on a page. The same goes for when students are required to do a retrieval activity. Staff are mindful to design the booklet so our students don't have to keep turning the page to find the answer, as this can provide a distraction, especially for our younger students. We also chunk large sections of writing into bullet points, numbers or tables to highlight links between information and chunk it into manageable steps like this loud, quiet example. We cut unnecessary information from the booklets. A booklet is a hybrid textbook and worksheet. So not only do we have to be mindful of paper wastage, but we also don't want to overload students with all the information about a topic at once. Core curriculum knowledge will always be included in a booklet. This will include context and examples resulting in non-specialists using the booklet to deliver a much better lesson. Even though elaboration is a great teaching tool that our staff use all the time, we cannot include all of what is taught within the booklet. So we make decisions to cut some content that staff can teach within lessons in different ways. We also cut unnecessary words and explanations in text. It is tempting to type explanations of challenging vocabulary within text. However, we use the bold function to highlight words that the teacher will explain during the lesson. In the first video in this playlist, we discussed the principles of designing slides to reduce cognitive load. A lot of those principles are echoed in our booklets and worksheets. We make sure to cut out any fancy fonts, colours or distracting images. The typeface is clear and easy to read. We use a precursive, consistent typeface that the students see on all curriculum resources from EYFS to Year 4. From Year 5 upwards, we use Calibri. Also, we choose to type in lowercase as opposed to uppercase because it's easier to read. Where possible, we remove the background from images by searching for images plus no background on the search engine. We don't use elaborate colours to make the booklets look attractive as we want a professional streamlined feel to the booklets. 
we are always mindful of formatting. Seeing something that's out of alignment can be really off-putting and we want to reduce cognitive overload at all points in the learning process. Text and images are aligned and ordered within the booklets in order to focus attention on the content. We find using tables a great way to support this. Academies across Dixons make use of icons on student worksheets and booklets to represent different tasks. This provides clarity by supporting students to know what is expected of them in a task, thus reducing cognitive demands. If students see an icon such as these, they know that they will have to either talk to their learning partner, analyse data, hunt for an answer, retrieve knowledge they already know, read text or write an answer, or debate a theory or act out a drama. This reduces teacher talk and thus cognitive load within the lesson. The teacher doesn't have to spend time explaining the task. The small icon means this is a consistent task. The students know what to do already. The icons are bold and simple and used consistently. In conclusion, we design booklets and worksheets to be easily read by chunking information so that it can be easily understood cutting unnecessary information, aligning text to reduce cognitive load, and using familiar icons to represent tasks to minimise explanation. I hope you enjoyed seeing how we use cognitive science to design our student-facing resources. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more episodes and how we use cognitive science in the primary phase at Dixon's.